it coils its ten tentacles around prey and sucks out their nutrients, causing the prey pain. You didn't need to add that. <laughs> Welcome back to Extra Holiday Games. I'm Extra Holiday, and uh, we're not really supposed to be here this early, but <laughs> we are. So we're gonna we're gonna explore around because. This is just the sort of thing that Scout would do. Alfernada is in such an inconvenient location. Having a trusty Cyclozar is an absolute must here. Or, you know, me right on. Wasn't it rough coming all the way out to Alfernada? But now that you've been here once, you can use the flying taxi to come back whenever you want. Indeed. Not that I will, but... Because I skipped a lot of trainers on the way here. Uh... But, you know, it's it's nice to have that option. Uh, I want to know. I want to know what is up here. Hey, man, they've even paved it with the pictures of the... See, I'm, I'm actually going to call them out on this. How does it make sense to have these? Huh? What significance do these have in the canon of the game? Hmm. Doesn't make sense that they're here because nobody, nobody would have ever seen these sprites in this world. Unless, unless they do imply that video games exist in this world. So, God, that's actually, oh my God, I'm just realizing, like, if they had Pokemon games in the Pokemon, in the world of the Pokemon games, then it would basically just be like a life simulation, wouldn't it? It would be like The Sims to them. That's a weird thought. <laughs> um, huh. I never really thought about that, but um, I, I guess it's possible. That's weird. That's weird. No, I don't want to. I don't want to buy anything. Not there anyway. Uh, hey, Squawkabilly. That's a pool. All right. Cool. Got the awakening. Mm -hmm. Okay. In prison. What's with you? The water's trickling out. I wish it'd shoot out like a hydro pump, though. Wouldn't that be neat? Uh, might be a little dangerous, considering you know they say that Blastoise's hydro pump can cut through steel. That's uh, that's pretty powerful. Light clay. Ooh, that could be useful actually. If we find a mon that we want to use screens with, could be good. Okay, skill swap. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Um, so there's one shop. There's one shop here that I was like, this is a new shop. This one here. What can we get for you? Uh, oh, oh, this is a fancy one. Uh, okay, well. What do we want? What do we want, really? Well and truly, what would we want from this? Um, there's really not much here that we want, is there? Yeah, I think I'll pass on the fancy restaurant. Uh, and that's, I guess, all there is to all for nada. So, we're getting out of here. We have some cliffs to jump off. And notice I use plural, so uh, you, you, don't, you don't gotta worry. You don't, <laughs> don't gotta worry about it. Hey, dusk form, or not dusk form, night form. Like and rock. That makes sense, it's nighttime. Yeah, so I guess, because if I remember correctly in Sun and Moon, which is the game that which are the games that 
Rockruff and Lycanroc originate from, I believe, in those games, which form you got depended on, whoa, depended on which game you were playing. If you're playing sun, you get day form. If you're playing moon, you get night form. Uh, but I guess in these games, oh, that Dom fan rolling. Uh, I guess in these games, it's probably just what time it evolves at, I would guess. Hmm, interesting. So let's just roll on up this. Actually, we're in a spot where we can jump down now, so let's do that. Man, I'm so glad your right on knees just aren't completely blown out from doing that. Earth power. That's also a very good TM. I am glad. I am glad that I sent Scout up here, even if it does potentially set Scout a little behind. Uh, because we are getting a lot of good TMs. Like Earth Power, Dark Pulse, Focus Blast. These are all very good. Uh, and also we got that stake out. Who knows? Who knows what that is? At this point, could be anything. Could even be another stake. <laughs> ah. Let's see, there was an item down here, right? Yeah. Actually, I hadn't seen it yet, but yes, there is. Oh, sh there's a TM over there, though. Oh, no, don't make me come all the way back up again. Uh, I made it. Oh, beautiful. Play rough. Oh, my. Oh, these are good TMs. Uh, I'm going to save because the game just hitched right there. And it makes me nervous when it does that. Uh, okay. Okay, back down here then. We're back in area four of the South Province, but I don't think we could have gotten here except by dropping down to this specific spot anyway. Also, I probably should have tried to jump up there. Well, we can try some, uh, we can try some risky stuff in a sec, but first, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, is that a, that's a yellow flower full of baby. I want that. Let me catch that. Do do ba do ba do ba do ba quick ball do ba do I do kinda wanna recatch a a blue flower flow baby We're gonna call this one what's a what's a flower that's yellow Um Relation sort of drawing for fan power with the Pokemon fond of yellow flowers. I don't know if that's the same. Ah. Text entry is the other flower colors, but yeah, I, I there you there you have it. Uh okay, so what's a what's a yellow flower? Lilies are yellow, right? Or are they white? I don't know, I'm gonna call it Lily. You're a lily. Okay. Uh, oh, right, 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 right. So there was something I saw roundabouts here. It makes me uh, a bit interested, you know? A bit interested. Is it here? Is it not here? Oh man. Uh, uh, okay, well. I guess it wasn't here. I thought I saw a wild Terra Pokemon around here, but I guess not. Maybe it was down there. Might have been down there. Uh, what? 
All right, that's fine. We'll I'm gonna go back up here though, because if it was something, I wanted to see if I couldn't cheese this one jump. Getting up there. So getting up there seems like it would be beneficial. Uh, hmm. Well, we might. This might be enough of a slope for us. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, that's a lot easier and safer than what I was going to try. <laughs> I will take that. Uh, okay. I could have swore. I could have swore I saw a wild terror. I guess not. Okay, I'm gonna drop down here. Boop. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, no, these are connected. Okay, we're good. Oh, hey, Lilligant. Uh, I think. Do we have a pedal hill? I don't think we have a pedal hill. So we should probably try and get this. We're well, level 24, so. Should be all right. Yeah. I will catch a Lilligant. I like Lilligant. Lilligant is one of my favorites. I have a lot of favorites. If you couldn't tell by this point, I have a lot. Nice. No matter how much time and money is spent raising it, its flowers are the most beautiful when they bloom in the wild. Huh. Well, now I feel kind of bad for catching it. Uh. Also, I could have called this Lily, but uh, we'll call you... We're gonna call you... This is also a plant, so uh, we're gonna call you Hibiscus. You can go to the box, Hibiscus. I don't think we need a grass this time right now, so. Alright. Uh, that's a floet. Yellow flower floet. Which we do not need necessarily. This could be some. Oh, blue flower. Blue flower, Fla baby. I need to catch another one of these. It's a replacement. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. So I heard. Uh, I guess it was a minor spoiler for me. Uh, I heard that. <laughs> There are about 400 Pokemon in the Paldi Index. Which is a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna call you Blue Rose. Uh, and I'm gonna skip the E because I'm cool like that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, apparently there are like 400 Pokemon in the Paldi Index, which has is that a record for a regional dex? Because I feel like it might be a record for a regional dex. Because it seems like a lot. And here I was thinking I might actually complete a regional dex for once. Actually, that's still possible, but... <laughs> oh, speaking of Aura Sphere, um... Yeah, we've gotten some of the best TMs in the game in the past couple episodes. Uh, this, this is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Okay. Okay. Well. Cool. So, now that we're done on this level, we can go over here. We're gonna kinda. Oh, I scared myself for a sec. 
gonna kind of have to. Oh, water stone, nice. I'm gonna kind of have to fly out of here. Do we have a basculin? We do have a basculin. Okay. Good to know. And of course, we do have a magic card as well. Yes. Okie doke. Oh, can't wait. What is? It's a barboach, right? We have a barboach, right? Yeah, we have a barboach. Okay. Good. Oh, there's there's a little bit of a ledge down here. Hold on, Meryl. Don't don't actually want to fight you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, this doesn't actually lead to anything. That's fine. That's fine. We were gonna fly out anyway. Okay, so. Now that all that's been explored, uh, we're going to fly back to this Pokemon Center. Yes, yes, fly there. <laughs> hey, I need one more button press. We're going to fly back to this Pokemon Center. And we are going to actually switch up our team because. Yeah, we don't necessarily need people to deal with ghost or or psychic types so tomahawk and cricket i'm gonna take your items and we're gonna we're gonna put you all away for now because i'm i'm tempted i'm tempted to leave cricket in the party because i just really like cricket uh it, he's 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 grown on me but i do want to maybe replace tomahawk with someone who could get uh, could help us with steel types. So, if we're looking for a fighting type, what are our options for a fighting type? Uh, we have rock. We could go back to rock, which would be nice. Um, what are our other options, though? We have a prime Madge already got cross chop which is pretty good it's a good move to have not a great nature but that's fine um hmm. so we've got rock we've got madge we've got pillager of course but I mean, not a ton of reason to use pillager over madge Oh, we've got Pokken. I kind of want to use Pokken. Because... I don't... Mm, I think I probably used Toxic Rook before, but... It's probably been a while. So I kind of want to... I maybe want to use... Uh, we've also got... <laughs> Asses. We could get a Lucario. Which we already have a steel type though, so I don't know if I really wanna do that, but I think yeah, as far as fighting types goes, I think Madge is cool and all. But I think I want Pokken. What? Cause I, I I just like the idea of using a toxic croak. Throw you in front for now, and probably give you an item. Uh, I don't know that. Oh, and also I was gonna see about maybe swapping cricket out. Uh, so that's a fighting type that we could use against steel types ground type we have on the team currently so maybe we look at our fire types and we have mozart who we did swap out recently i kind of want i kind of want to use hot wheels because talon flame is pretty cool actually 
you know, having a flying type would be cool too. So maybe... Maybe that's just what we do. Uh, we have... We have three different fletchlings with three different terror types. And it's kind of funny. Uh, also, there's Charlie. I don't know how Charlie evolves is the thing. And Charlie's a high enough level where I think she probably should have evolved by now. But we're going to go, we're going to grab Hot Wheels and replace Cricket. Cricket will probably come back because I, I, I actually kind of really like Cricket. But for now, Hot Wheels. And so, yeah, now we've got coverage for our next three challenges. Okay. Now, now I think we basically make a beeline for the Titan. We don't really have much else to explore around here, uh, by the way. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Y'all want to do it the old fashioned way. Okay, that's fine. Hot Wheels will be more than willing to take you out. Flame charge. Good hit. Yeah, I can see how this thing evolves into Sco Villain. Still kind of ugly, but I I think I'll probably end up using our Capsicid or Sco Villain, actually. Cause just the idea of having a grass fire type. Oh, maybe oh uh oh. I thought it just occurred. Well, we already have a grass type on the team right now, so maybe we don't use it now, but we could maybe use one for uh for steel type. Maybe. We'll see. Probably not, because uh Squibber is probably staying on the team for that, but we'll see. Unless Squidward gets too high in which case. Uh, but for now. No. Hot Wheels. That one. Thank you. Alrighty. So now we're gonna go up and face this flying titan. Alright, there's a picnic spot here. Uh, yep. Thank you. I don't need to heal right now, so we're good. Uh, okay, so this leads the opposite direction. We can fight this guy, though. Right. I want to go to the peak, but I can't even get close. That's rough, bud. And Mike. Flanko. That's a good matchup for us. Ooh, the texture on that guy, though. I mean, oh, hold on, I gotta wait. Hopefully, it doesn't explode. But, like, look at that! Look at that texture. Oh well. Speaking of exploding, glad Hot Wheels survived that because I really want Hot Wheels to get experience for this. Okay, cool. Nimble. Uh, we have advantage here too, but the thing is, we're gonna have to heal. Not that I think Nimble will really have anything to do to us, but I could have used the soda pop there. Dang it. That's fine. That's fine. Insurance? Not a problem. Alright, flame charge. Good, good. We should be faster next time. I mean, we are now, but we should also be faster next time. Because that's how flame charge works. Well, what level do you evolve at? Hot Wheels? I forget. Is it 18 like other birds? Because I think 
think Pidgey evolves at 18. You're even wilder than the rolling boulders. Yeah, I'm pretty crazy. Uh, here. I know there's, we could have taken a picnic, but that would have been slower. Uh, wait, that's not, I don't want to open that right now. Uh, wait, what's that? No, we've already been down that route. Okay. But there is another path we can take. Oh, I see. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like Pachinko over here. Hold on. We're going to go this way real quick before we... What? I do Okay, well. Well, hold on. There's a Terra Pokemon down there. Uh, that might be an issue for me. Also a trainer here. That's a nimble. Get that one. That one specifically. Okay. Uh, oh, there's a TM down there. Okay. Fight the trainer first. That's the first priority. Oh, I was supposed to read that. Uh, ruin us? I don't know. That's what I saw. Fomantis! Hey, that's also good for Hot Wheels. Just Hot Wheels was a little better at one-shotting people. You know? It's fine. It's, it, they're not, but, you know, would be convenient. Uh, she, okay. Hot Wheels is a girl. Got it. Alrighty. That was two shot. Two shots good enough. We'll get there once Hot Wheels evolves. Ah, you've ruined us. Indeed. Get wrecked. Uh, go. After the cat's key. Oh, didn't necessarily want to keep fighting people. Sword stance. That's a good. Oh. Oh, so there's more than one of these. Oh. So there's four for each. Faint carving is written. Ruinous sword. Oh no. You know, when I think of a sword, in Pokemon. I kind of think a uh, Pokemon sword, right? And granted, there are... Oh, this is the Jolteon from... Our, okay, well. Kind of wasted the time coming down here. That's fine. Uh, yeah, I think of a uh, Pokemon sword, you know? And I think of, you know, the, the maybe the legendary from Pokemon sword. I don't know if that's what's actually in there, but it actually seems like it'd be a little weird if it was. Or it could be, you know, it could be a hone edge, one of its line, one of its ilk. That one. Get that one. All right. I do want to go up, right? Yeah, from here. Yeah. Yes, back to the area with the boulders. And the pachinko. Ow! Well, that actually wasn't that bad. See, I feel like in most other RPGs, getting hit by that would, like, lower your party's HP. Heck, I think... Pokemon might even might have even done that at some point with some sort of obstacle. But uh, not here, I guess. Uh oh, are we getting into the battle right now? Because I don't think I want Hot Wheels in front for that. Oh, 
I guess we are. Stork. All right. Bombardier, the open sky titan. Our bird's a little smaller. Uh, we're going to swap. Fake type. I trust you to handle this. Don't float just because I'm switching. I was just unprepared is all. Oh, yeah. Fake type's got this. Stone Edge. Hit by Rocky Helmet. That's great for us. And it miss. <laughs> Good. I'm glad. Okay. Wing attack. Every time it hits us, it takes damage. So, and there it goes. It's gonna knock that open. Grab the Herba Mystica. Right. That animation was a little more convincing with cloth. It's eating. Scout, you managed to get to the Titan somehow, huh? So that's the open sky Titan. Wait, is this Titan what's been dropping all those boulders? I was lucky enough to sneak up here because it, it had all its attention on you, little bud. It looks like it's trying to power itself up. Like with some kind of mystical meal power or something. Uh, you you know. You know what this is. This is the Herba Mystica. So we'd better be ready to go all out. Yeah. Uh, I've still got the wrong Pokemon in front, but that's fine. That's all right. Uh, yeah, I'm going to throw fake type out in front again. Trying to drop rocks on folks is dangerous. Let's give this thing a good taste of defeat. Yep, just give me a sec. Gotta swap Pokemon. <laughs> but hey, at least we're switch training Hot Wheels, huh? That's fine. I haven't even used the move yet. Nice Smackdown. Now, what was your Knackley? 19. Okay, good to know. Uh, I probably don't need to Terra here, but <laughs> might as well. Get that one shot in. I feel like there should be something that evolves into Bombardier, but I don't think there is. If I remember correctly from where it is in the Pokedex. Got it. <laughs> yeah. I think Big Type might be a little overleveled for this. But that's fine. Nice. Level for Hot Wheels. Oh, Hot Wheels is evolving. That's what I thought she would evolve around here. Good, good. We are now actually fire type. This territory has a radius of just over a mile. If any bird Pokemon should enter, it will show them no mercy. Yikes. Oh, I thought... I thought fake type was about to evolve too. I'm like, what? Uh, yes, way to go, Scout. Looks like we don't have to worry about any more boulders falling on us now, huh? I'm pretty sure I've changed Darwin's voice at this point, but it's fine. <laughs> there has to be more of that Herba Mystica it ate in there. Let's hurry and find it before the Titan can come back in for another go at us. What? Pretty sure it's dead, dude. Ah, it's fine. If we're lucky, there'll be another herb here. Uh, something tells me there probably is. I knew it. Yeah. I'm curious what the Herba Mystica actually does for the Titan. 
Like, what stats does it raise? It really is here. This is one of the herbs. Make no mistake. Cool. The bitter herb of Mystica. Not much a fan of bitter foods, but yeah, that's fine. Woohoo! We did it! Thanks, Scout! Now let's see. What does the book have to say? Bitter herb of Mystica is great for your circulation. It really gets the blood flowing. And that warms you right up, nice and toasty, even boosting the immune system. Or so it says. If I can just slip this into a tasty sandwich and get him to eat some, explain. Well, what are we waiting for, Scout? It's time to dig in. Let me whip something up for us. I'm absolutely giving this to me right on. Yar, whoop cha. And Bob's your uncle. Here you go, my special whimsical herb-filled super sandwich. And it comes with a side of Titan Badge, as a token of my gratitude, of course. Uh, that's a strange looking sandwich. Given our expressions, I uh, don't know how well, how good this is gonna taste. Agios. Oh, come on, you again? Yes, this is my friend. Yep. <laughs> Can you actually not give your sandwich to him? Yons. <laughs> is it trying to say thanks or something? Well, good thing I made extra this time. You're helping me out a whole bunch with the hard stuff, so it's only fair that you get more. I definitely, absolutely did not make extra so that Miraidon could have a sandwich, okay? Soon, soon. Agios! Yay, we can surf! <laughs> That's so good. Did it go grow stronger again? Agia. Man, these Aramiska really do pack a punch, don't they? I mean, they'd better, or else I'm really up the creek. No, Miradon, don't eat his too. You've had enough. Don't you dare touch that! That isn't for you! Agia. Oh, he's real mad. Oh, uh, sorry. I shouldn't have shouted like that. I guess I should at least tell you the full story, Scout, please. Come on out, bud. Thank you for finally revealing. Oh, this is my boss, Steph, my partner. Hagia. Woof. God, what was I saying about sick dogs with Mashif? Ah. Uh. Mastiff. That's probably how it's pronounced. Here you go, bud. Eat up. This sandwich should help you feel better. Slowly now. Take your time. Small bites are fine. Just chew nice and slow. Oh. Man. My buddy here was hurt pretty bad a while ago. Real bad, in fact. He never really recovered. Potions? Nothing seems to help. Not potions, not Pokemon centers. Nothing. My boss diff here is the only thing in the world I care about. The only thing. So I promised that I'd make him better, whatever it takes. I searched online, I read books, I looked all over and tried every cure and remedy I could find. But nothing really worked. I'd almost given up hope. That's when I found out about the Herba Mystica. You've done your research. Yeah, see, I found this book in my dad's lab. Mary's ear was home to wondrous herbs that instantly impart vigor when eaten. We dubbed them Herba Mystica and attempted to grow some in areas around Baldia. However, before we could harvest... Yes, I read this earlier. It's this book full of crazy stories and legends and things... Stuff nobody would usually believe. 
but I believe it. I think what it says is true. And according to this book, eating all five Herba Mystica can cure anything that ails you. Case in point, my Bostiff's paws were as cold as ice before he ate that last herb, but they've warmed up a little now. I'm sure they have. Oh, you done eating, bud? Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Don't show me a sad, sick dog. <laughs> hey, my Bostiff, can... Can you see? Are your eyes open? Yes, I did it! It's been so long since he was able to open his eyes. I was so worried. Oh man, I... I'm so... I'm so glad! <laughs> oh, look at him. Those fiery orange little eyes. Hard to even tell if they're open or not, but I know the difference. The power of these herbs is amazing. I knew the book wasn't lying. I'm gonna bring my boss stiff back to full health. I swear it. Oh, uh, yeah. So that's my story. Three herbs to go. Let's find them together. Yeah. Look, man. If you tell me your dog's sick and you need these herbs to help him, I'll help him. Hello, Scout. This is Toro. I detect that Miraidon has regained more of its original power. While riding upon it, it seems you should now be able to move across water. Yay! Miraidon can now move across bodies of water. You can press B it can, to jump in the water. Somehow. I'm relying on you to continue taking good care of me right on. I will. And we will continue to take good care of me right on next time. Because uh, as for this episode. That's a wrap. Really know how to tug on those heartstrings, eh?